Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We are going to be unboxing some sneakers today. I have filmed a couple of these before, so if you want to check those out, definitely do so. After you watch this video, I unboxed a pair of Vans that are platforms, and I'm pretty sure I did like ways to style dad sneakers. So if you're into like shoe videos, definitely check those out too. I am so excited because as you can see by the title, I am going Going to be unboxing the Nike Blazer platform sneakers. These do come in high tops and low tops. I purchased the low tops. I just feel like low top shoes look better on me. And honestly, I feel like these are a slightly controversial shoe. Some people really hate them and some people really love them. I've been eyeing them for a while, so I thought I might as well just go for it because I was already thinking of outfit ideas with them. So let's just dive in. I'm going to be doing the unboxing, talking about some styling ideas, and and then either in between or after I will show you guys a little try on. Okay, so I did purchase these sneakers from ASOS. I just really like ASOS because they have free returns. They weren't in stock for a really long time and then I got the notification that they were in stock in my size so I had to grab them. I will leave a couple other places where you can purchase these and some places actually have some sales going on right now on these shoes. So definitely check those out with the options that you might want to purchase them from. ASOS is really great. Like I said, they're really great with returns and exchanges, so I'm really hoping these fit me. Alright. And just the simple orange Nike box. I feel like it got a little destroyed. It's alright. Oh, yes, ma'am. I don't know if I said this already, but I did purchase these in a size 8 women's. They are a unisex shoe. These are stunning. I want to say the platform is probably around an inch. I tried to do some research before filming, and I couldn't find the platform height. I am 5'7", so... Adding a little height is not a bad thing for me. I don't mind adding a height in sneakers. Heels are a little different. I like a very short heel, but sneakers, it's like, give me the platform. All right, other shoe. I love the smell of new shoes. These are the bad boys here. I really love getting fresh shoes. I hope I can keep these white as long as possible. Another thing that I wanna call out is that in some photos, this part right here, that's more of like that felt. Sometimes in photos it looks beige and I was kind of hesitant to ordering them because it looked like it was going to come out a little bit more yellow. But on ASOS where I purchased them from, the picture looked more gray and blended in more nicely. So that's another reason why I purchased from there. I'm going to take out the stuffing and let you guys know what this sole looks like. Good little stuffing. Okay, one thing I want to call out right off the bat that makes me a little bit nervous is the sole here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is kind of foamy and it doesn't have any coverage where the sole starts. If you're going to give these some wear and tear, I would just be aware of that, that that could start to rip first. But I'm just thinking about if it was to rain or somehow get wet, it might ruin this part a little bit because it literally is like a sponge. But I also like that it's not very noticeable so you can't tell that the yellow is there right off the bat. Each shoe has Nike on the back and nice crisp lettering. I really love that font. I feel like it's a very clean. And then the laces. Laces for me are such a big deal because I feel like cheap laces you can tell that they're cheap and not good quality. These laces actually look really nice. Obviously the way the shoe is tied up right now the lacing is very tight so I like that they give you a good amount of lace to work with. These are extremely sharp. I am very happy with this purchase. The soles have a pretty good grip to them. Lots of traction will be happening here. I hate when you get shoes that have like no grip on the bottom and you'll just be slipping and sliding everywhere. These retail for $100 so I don't think that's bad for a nice pair of sneakers. I'm gonna try these on really quick and tell you guys my thoughts. So I will show you guys what these look like on my feet, but I wanted to quickly describe comfort and how it feels to be putting on these shoes. So first of all, like I mentioned about the sole here, it is definitely very delicate. As for comfort, I feel like this leather is pretty tough, so I think that breaking in these shoes is going to be a thing. Having them on my feet and taking my first couple steps in these, they feel pretty good. I also want to say I don't have a really 
really wide foot but it does feel a little tight in this corner by my pinky toe that's just something I know I have to break them in and that's clearly an area where I have to break them in to make them feel shaped to my foot but other than that I am pretty pleased with the comfort and if you guys have any questions on that let me know in the comments down below and I can update you guys in a couple weeks once I have these kind of broken in I finally got my hands on the socks that everyone talks about these are the Amazon sock that is like a dupe for the Aritzia TNA socks who knew I would be really excited about socks I don't know these are perfect for these sneakers because it's not necessarily gonna ride your ankle but a little above it and when I purchased these, they were on sale. I believe originally they're $17. I got them for like 12 or 13. So I'll leave these linked below as well. I love how simple it is. This is just a simple white sneaker that you can wear a lot of different things with. So let's hop into the styling portion of this video. I wanted to kind of talk about different outfit ideas based on different occasions because I feel like with this type of sneaker, you can really dress it up or dress it down. The first outfit I want to talk about is just this simple black dress. Dress. This is a knitted black dress. I believe I purchased this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but any simple black dress will do. Next, for the more casual piece, if you guys know me, you know that I love a matching set, especially a matching sweatsuit. So this one right here is from Aritzia. I always go for the more oversized fit, and then of course the matching sweatpants. Next, I want to talk about the Aritzia leather pants. If you guys don't have these, you need to get your hands on some. So these leather pants and these shoes chef's kiss you can literally wear whatever you want on top I just paired it with a white bodysuit something a little bit more casual and something that I wear on the day-to-day -day is really just a simple pair of jeans and a simple oversized t-shirt these two items are from Abercrombie and Fitch I have been loving Abercrombie lately specifically these jeans I want them in every single color they fit so nicely I was traditionally only going towards Levi's but then I tried these jeans and let me tell you I am so beyond impressed. And their oversized t-shirts are awesome. You can find these pretty much everywhere. Urban Outfitters, thrift stores, Brandy Melville. I feel like you can never have enough oversized t-shirts because you can really wear them with anything. For more of a businessy look, these sneakers are definitely sneakers that I feel like you could wear to the office. As long as you keep them clean and keep them nice, I feel more and more people are wearing sneakers with blazers and making them look nice. <laughs> I just have these flare jeans from Abercrombie they're black or you could wear a flare dress pant or even a straight leg black dress pant would look nice with this but just an oversized button-up shirt very simple but also just looks really nice the sneakers tie in really nicely and you can make it kind of cute business casual I really love this skirt this green satin is it satin yeah I think so. silk why am I thinking satin is velvet? <laughs> okay, no, it is a green kind of midi satin skirt. You could really pair this with any top or any bodysuit, however you want to dress it up or dress it down. The thing that I like about these sneakers, especially with this type of outfit, is that it's not a chunky sneaker. I mean, it's a platform shoe, but it's not chunky. It doesn't have a high top. It's looks small and I'm always looking for that because all of my white sneakers are definitely on the chunkier side. <laughs> that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my other social channels. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.